Hey YouTube, it's Chrissy Lulu. Um, so yeah, it's been a little while since I last uploaded a video, and I know October is now over, but I do want to get my Inktober stuff out there, and I'm going to do it in four different videos, one for each week. Um, I did finish up everything on time. If you want to look at everything, all the finished products, um, you can go to my Instagram, link is in the description, or you can search me up as Russian Mango 4, and the O is actually a zero. Um, no spaces, no capitals. Hopefully it shouldn't be too far hard to find. Um, but yeah, so this week I've got seven pieces, uh, all in pen, of course. Um, the second one, or the third one, I think? Yeah, my third day I actually use my feather pen, as you will soon see. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, what I really want to talk about this week is prompts. So if you can't already tell by what you are looking at, I don't typically follow the prompts for challenges. I didn't for Marmay. I didn't for, well, I didn't have a prompt list for um, my dog days of summer. Um, I might try that again this year if anyone wants to join me and make an official prompt list for anyone who wants to. Um, but yeah, um, anyways, I don't typically follow the prompts, but I know a lot of people do. Um, for example, I know um, Lavender Town this year did and Drawing with Waffles did, so both of those guys used uh, the prompt list. Um, I did not, as you can tell, as I have stated. Uh, and I kind of want to talk about this, um, like, does, do you have to use the prompts, or should you not? I think it's kind of more of a gray topic. Um, personally, I don't really want to use the prompts, but when you do use the prompts, I do see that you get a greater variety in what you work on, and it can help you be inspired every day. You can, instead of being like, oh god, what do I draw every day? You can look at the prompt, you always have something to look forward to, it helps you keep on schedule very nicely. So that is one of the good things about prompts. Um, to be fair, I've only used a prompt for a challenge once, and that was in 2016 when I did, um, what was it, it was like Improvement August or something. Um, but yeah, it, we were just supposed to draw every single day and follow up prompt. So yeah, I, that was pretty fun. Um, of course, I've gotten much better since then. Um, admittedly, I look at art from 2016 and I think it is absolutely atrocious. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess that's how we all are. Um, that was also the first year I did Inktober. If you wanna go to my DeviantArt and check those out, um, I think that's the only place where they are. Um, but yeah, anyways, why don't I use prompts? Um, to be fair, I typically feel like I kind of have more fun with the challenge when I'm coming up with my own ideas, and typically all I do is really draw my own characters, so there is that. Um, sometimes I will throw in other characters, like as you will see for my last one in this video, I drew, um, Sumiki Mikan um, from Danganronpa 2 because I love her so much. She's, I don't know, she's precious. <laughs> At least that's how I feel about her. Um, uh, she might not be a favorite character of many people's, but um, I enjoy her. So yeah, um, I drew her. And a lot of this is really just my own characters and kind of trying to bring some back and kind of get into the habit of drawing them. For example, you'll see I drew my character June. She was formerly known as Junko. Um, I drew her a couple of times this week. I know I drew Estelle. I drew Roman. And I don't think I got to Mika until next week. Um, so yeah, I typically have more fun when i am got more flexibility with what to draw. And I don't really feel as bad if I do end up falling behind as I did pretty badly this year. Um, I was obviously able to catch up, but <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, that was a bit of a, bum a fumble on my part. Um, but yeah, um, I'd recommend if it is your first year or you have never completed an Inktober to try the prompt list just because that way you won't run out of ideas halfway through. That was part of the problem I had my first year. I was like, I don't know what to draw. I think I got maybe 13 drawings done and then <laughs> nothing else. Um, and um, if you are not used to drawing every day or you take a long time to get your drawings out, I think it's better for you to maybe do something simpler rather than trying to go all out and do something ornate every single day. Even if that's something you enjoy doing just because it is a challenge and you're trying to get something done for every day. Um, I see myself during Inktober producing a lot of work that I am personally not proud of and I don't enjoy, but I push through it and I'm like, okay, that day's done, that day's behind me, I can move on to the next piece. Um, it's important not to get hung up on pieces that aren't going well. Um, instead of scrapping something because you don't like how it's going, push through it and finish it. Mm. Um, that's my recommendation. Mm. Um, I think that is just so much better than just throwing it all away because then you have wasted time that you could have been doing on your prompt and you'd have to start over again. So that's time wasted and then you might fall behind because you decided to stop pursuing this. Um, it's okay if you are in the sketching phases to kind of change up your idea. Of course I use pencil during the sketching phases and then I erase it all. Um, but it's important to be mindful of the fact that you are going to create work that you're not proud of and you are going to be creating a large amount of work but you just got to keep moving um if you're over halfway done with the drawing don't don't get rid of it do not drop it just keep moving you gotta finish it um that's just a little tip from me to you um and yeah um i'd recommend using prompts <laughs> to get back to the topic um this year they have quite a lot of prompts and I did actually, for one of the days, I did actually do a prompt. It was Angular. Um, I follow um, a, po a pose lady. Her name is Senshi Stock. She is on both DeviantArt and now Instagram. So you can go look her up. She's got amazing poses, but they posted a pose each day for Inktober. So if you need even more help and your brain isn't as trained, like, um... Like, if you're not as imaginative yet, like, looking at someone like Senshi Stock, I don't know if they're going to do it again next year, where they post a pose every day um, that follows for the prompt. That could be very helpful, because then you have what you're going to draw every day. And you can look at it and be like, okay, I'm going to do this pose and then make it this character. Or get inspired by that, give you some ideas if you're running low on them. And that can also help if you are following other people who are doing the challenge, who are following the prompts. If they post their art before you and you see it, you can get inspired. And now this isn't copying, um, this is just inspiration. Even if they end up somewhat similar, it's okay. Um, just don't, don't be copying, don't be like looking at theirs and then trying to copy every single detail um, or copy their idea word for word. Just take inspiration from it. Um, inspiration is better than blatant copying. Um, but yeah, that can help if you're stuck on a prompt. But then again, as with not going with a prompt, where you can be like, I can't think of anything, and you kind of have a blank and you get stuck. If you're following the prompt list and you see a prompt like angular i know that was one of them and that would have been that seems kind of hard for a lot of people you might not be instantly inspired you might have a very hard time you might think for a very long time about what you're going to do for that um typically what i do is because i do all my drawing 
after all my classes and everything so later in the day is I'll be thinking during the day uh, okay what am I thinking about doing later and I'll kind of like sketch that out and get some ideas out of my head and kind of get the brain moving you know um, but if I ever have an issue and I don't know what to draw for a day there's always the prompt list to fall back on for me to be like okay I'm feeling brain dead today I can't think so I'm going to go to the prompt list and that will give me an idea instead but if you are already using the prompt list there's really nothing to fall back on to unless you decide I can't be inspired by this for the day so you're not going to follow the prompt but challenge of doing prompts is to try and make it follow prompt list so I mean of course you can personalize Inktober to your own liking and you can kind of do whatever you really want um, there's a lot of people who do computer art they'll do digital art for Inktober and there's a big debate about whether that's okay or not but we're not gonna touch on that in this video so however you want to complete this challenge the important thing is that in the end you end up with the 31 drawings so if you decide to stop doing the prompt for a day or two it's fine if someone's getting on your case about not following it just forget them it's really not that big of a deal um, this challenge is all about fun so please keep that in mind if you ever try and do any challenges in the future the next challenge that's up is Huevember if anyone's going to be doing that I know I won't. Holly Brown said she is. So, yeah. Um, keep your eyes peeled for more art in the future. Um, I'm going to sign off now. Make sure to check out my Instagram and check out my Tumblr and my DeviantArt. All links should be in the description. Um, let me go know what you guys are thinking. I'm sorry this is coming out so late. But yeah, um, I have had a really fun time with this challenge and I really do want to get back in the habit of making videos. So except, expect some more. Um, the next couple are going to be kind of on topics surrounding Inktober and kind of helping you know how to get through it. Um, if there was any weird noises during the video, I apologize. There's people upstairs running around and jumping up and down and going crazy. and my guinea pigs are drinking water so <laughs> there's a lot of noise to be picked up um i apologize if there was any um but yeah i'll see you guys later bye